Alrighty, hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to a brand new video. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, how's it been going guys? Um, I'm sorry I didn't took a little break from YouTube. It's just because, you know, most of you that's been following me for a long time, I graduated, so that's over with. I've been working a ton, getting some other jobs and stuff done, building some stuff as like contract work. But anyway guys, how's it hanging? What's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video guys. Today, I wanna hope, I hope that this will be like a super great video and I want it to be like the new age, like the feminist problem. It's not gonna be a feminist problem. It's gonna be social problems, V2. I think we're just gonna call it social problems again and it will be a good time. But anyway, guys, today we're gonna talk about some social problems and these ones, you know, they hit close to home, and it's it's funny because I think it's really funny how some of these work. But anyway, guys, let's get right into the video, and I'll see you guys there. And welcome back to some uploads. Can't promise daily because, just like tonight, my internet just went out. My brand new internet, so I don't know why that is. They didn't even have scheduled maintenance. I don't know, bruh. It's whatever. But anyway, let's get right into the video. DJ Ricky Wade bringing you in to show you that um, the first issue of the day is going to be none other than, guys, there's no other way to put this, the problem with obesity in America. And you want to know why this is a problem here? Let's think about why this is. Let's think about the background information. Oh, I goddamn know. You can go to McDonald's and buy a goddamn hamburger for a dollar, or you can buy a salad for seven. Now, if you're poor, because most people are poor, because you know what? College is expensive, and here's that. That's like a whole other story, but that's the second point. So my mic, but that's the second point of basically saying that. Like in Norway and Sweden and places over there, they have free education all the way through college. And that is basically, and I like that. I mean, we could raise taxes, we could go for free education, but, you know, basically we just get absolutely screwed because everybody just complains about taxes right now. But if everybody got free education, then we could have a lot better jobs because right now, if you don't make that much, you're not going to go to McDonald's and buy a $7 salad. You're going to go and buy a $1 hamburger which first leads to obesity second leads to freaking people not going to college because they're not making enough money because why would you want to go into debt twenty four thousand dollars before you can even get out of debt when you can work all the time and float by by the tip of your damn ears just barely by the skin of your damn teeth i don't know man it's it's a weird it's a weird conundrum there man it's a weird combination of shit. The second problem, guys, is... Here's the thing. With... Now, not everybody wants to go to college, and that's fine. I mean, it's whatever, bro, but it's not that. It's that if you don't do that, and you want to do something, you can't be mad that opportunities aren't being given to you because you didn't go to college or this. this here, here's, a, here's another problem. A lot of people out there... Let's we'll just throw this out there. A doctor, for an example, you could have, like, like, the best, like the fucking Tupac of doctors out there, knows everything, but, oh, you know what? He hasn't gone to 10 years of schooling, so he's not going to be a doctor in town, then. See, there's a problem. If there could be a, some sort of test and eat situation, damn, dude, holy fuck, would that change everything? Because, you know, here, here's the thing. If you can prove yourself that you can do something, you should be able to do it, no matter what. And then there's always another fact of, you know, it's it's just pretty gay that, um, you know, the whole fact of the keyboard warriors and people posting shit on social goddamn media. That's why this is social problems. Here, here, I'm gonna bring up a great point right now. So, recently, I've had some friends that, you know, you know, they're pretty nice people, but, you know, it doesn't matter because 
they t they're, they're really nice people. They t they take gores on dates, and then the gores are like, whatever. And then they go home and they say, worst date of my life, would not recommend it. Post shit like that all over social media. Holy God, dude. Can you, can you get any more fucking dumb? Like, holy God. I know BuzzFeed, goddamn BuzzFeed, is contributing to your stupidness out there. Because, you know, BuzzFeed, it's just goddamn BuzzFeed. It's cancer, like... BuzzFeed, a multi-million dollar corporation, basically for dumbasses. That's basically what BuzzFeed is for. I mean, because you can't be, because apparently I'm not normal, because I don't watch BuzzFeed. Holy fuck, man, just kill me, please. We're dying to watch BuzzFeed, but yeah. Anyway, that, that's another problem with these keyboard warriors slash people that will not say it to your face, but they say it over computer. Let me bring up a great point right now. Alrighty, boys. So, I had a few weeks, man, a few weeks, about a few months ago, two, three months ago. I'm gonna go into a little bit of backstory. Wade backstory time, bro. You gotta put on the groovy music, cause we're about to get jazzy. But anyway, a few weeks ago, I laughed because somebody spent so much goddamn time to go through and edit every one of my videos and sound clip it exactly to what they wanted me to say and then they showed it on all my activities that i did to oh basically all the people that are supposed to be quote unquote in charge of me even though um, let's be honest here i'm in charge of myself so I'm the goddamn best, dude. I'm the goddamn best. Nah, nah, but not really. But you guys, you don't know what I'm saying. With all these activities. School, soccer, etc, etc, etc. And I just find it really funny because, you know, when people spend time to do that, here's the thing, man. It's really not hard to figure out who you are. But if you really want to make somebody's life miserable... Dude, social media is a great goddamn way to do it nowadays, but you know what? It really doesn't affect me because here's the thing. My social media play pages, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, they're all clean except this YouTube. Like, oh god, I say fucking cunt. Oh god, dude, I swear. Holy shit, guys, call the goddamn ambulance. Hello? Hello, sir, please, please, you need to pick me up. I'm going to go to jail because I'm goddamn saying the fuck word in front of you guys holy shit but anyway guys i think it's just funny because with all these social media problems it brings about everything that and you forget about stuff that's like actually important like holy shit oh there's still people starving in africa and dying to diseases holy shit bro yeah because i'm more worried about myself than i am about them you know what here's the point if i ever made billions of dollars I would go over there and I would damn well help the African people because you know what frankly they could probably be more freaking helpful than half of these damn people that all they want to do is get on social media and cause problems like goddamn BuzzFeed for example like everybody out there so you know pretty good out there but anyway with all of these other social problems dude you know what the final connecting dot is the final connecting dot is money. The freaking thing that connects everything in the goddamn universe. Money. Not goddamn gravity. Because, you know, it's money. Because you want to know why? You want to know goddamn why? Because if you have lots of money, apparently you have lots of happiness. You know what? I don't have a lot of money, but... You know, my three monitor setup and stuff that I've worked my ass off to get... You know, I'm pretty goddamn happy with it, and... I, I couldn't really ask for more, to be honest, so, it works out for me, dude, so, <laughs> whatever, whatever, but anyway, guys, let's just leave it there, and we'll pick it up in another video, but welcome back, hope you guys did enjoy, if you did, slap that like button for more videos like this, this wasn't really like a hate comments video, it was kind of me just like, talking to, giving me some thoughts out there, dude, put my mind out there, because I'm a goddamn educated man with a diploma now. Holy shit. Peace out. All of my homies. See you guys in the next video.